Hello everybody and welcome back to Autovox Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. In the last episode, we just got done doing the Beans Challenge. Got really scary towards the end, but Sack Dagger saved the day. So now it's time for us to do It's In The Cards. So let's just get started. So we are starting off with kind of average stats. We've got tarot cards with a battery, 9 volts, and deck of cards. Alright, anyway, the seed for this is 9LE7XA02. Um, we only have to make it to mom, so we got the troll bombs. Okay. It should be pretty straightforward, I imagine. Okay. Aquarius, you know what? I don't feel too bad about that being in the middle. It could have been like Polyphemus or Serpent's Kiss or something like that. If it was there, I'd be kind of pissed. Although, I'd be a little annoyed if it was just like, Oh, you you have a flying item now. Oh, uh, well, that got close, but I made it out of there relatively fine. Um, just pop this now. So, we got the Empress. You know, that's fine. Gurglings, fuck you. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I got I cornered myself. Uh, that's why it really hurts. Um, let's see. Oh, luckily to Empress, we actually got out of there pretty pretty well. Mm, not unscathed, but you know we made we made do. And you know what, that's just kind of how you have to roll in life sometimes, it's just like... Uh... You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, basically. Oh shit! Get me out! Stupid immolated hoppers, they're fucking tanky as all balls. And they jump really fast. Anyway, well we lost a good amount of our deal with a double chance. Card Against Humanity. If I wanted to spend a million years on a room, then I would do this. Okay. Oh shit. Fucking Grandpa Nutsack Fly hit me. Oh god. Just keep firing onto them. Excuse me. Alright, just keep firing. Alright, so... Let's see. I think I might actually want to pop cards against humanity. The reason being is that I'm more likely to get something out of it just because it's the idea of Increasing my chances of getting it by having large numbers or something like that. Anyway, let's just bop this down. A card against humanity. Alright, we'll be here for a while. We'll just be shooting the poop. Shooting the shit, basically. Um, hopefully they actually give me something like uh, Petrified Poop, and then this will basically guarantee the run. Because if we just eat one, we'd have so much money, or we just have like a ton of spirit hearts. Come on, I know our luck isn't that amazing, but if it can at least give me something, then we should be able to swing a good victory out of this. Well, we got a lot of red hearts, so that's fine, but come on, you gotta give me something else. Lay it all on the table, spread it out. Come on, nothing yet. Granted, we only cleared out a little portion of the room, so I guess it's fair to say that we still have a lot to shoot through. Oh god. If we had like mom's knife or something, one, we would win the run, and also it would make this just so easy because you just run the knife through the shit. Oh baby, two cents. Making some progress here. Almost done with the top row. Hell, if we can even, like, 
get a fire, faster fire rate. Some spirit hearts would be lovely. Why did I do this to myself? Do I hate myself? Am I am I just am, do I, am, I, am I a masochist? Am I a sadist? Do I not like having fun? Because I feel like my brain is slowly dying right now, and any semblance of my soul is escaping my body from how completely boring this is. Why did I do this? And now I can't stop myself, even though I know that this is boring to me. My completionist mindset is saying, no, you started this, so you have to finish this. That's that's my same thoughts when I actually started the Legend of Vermox series. Haha, <laughs> but I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, I like that game, so don't even bother saying that I don't like it. Anyway. For real though? No fucking petrified poop? This is, this is a little ridiculous. Come on. Okay, sometimes the poop can take two shots, other times it's three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh... So, what have we gained from this room? We gained full health. We also... Yes! Finally, petrified poop. Now we should be getting a good amount of money. And that's the kind of stuff I was looking for, baby! Got an eternal heart. Thank you. And this is feeling a lot better now. But if you can give me some spirit hearts... We got the uh, nice tone of the Isaac music. Speaking of... Oh, hell yeah! Okay, keep going. We have a ton of money. We can run to the shop, then. That's something we should probably look to do. We might as well, right? Oh, yeah, so, today I might be hearing back about the, the university stuff, so I am pretty excited about that. If not today, then tomorrow at the latest. Thank you for the more spirit hearts. But for right now, I am more or less just dedicated to completely, to just completely recording. Oh, yeah, here's another story. Max is still experiencing a bit of diarrhea. I'm feeding him, I'm giving him a lot of water and a lot of, like, food. Um, he's slowly getting over it, but it's so much so that, like, for the past two nights, he's been getting up, he's been waking up every, every hour, every couple of hours, and just, like, whining to, for me to get up. So, I've been getting up consistently at, like, 3 a.m. and going to bed. At, like, I think I went to bed probably around 10, so I've only been really getting about 5, 4 hours of sleep. And that doesn't feel necessarily too good. I mean, it's kind of nice to get up so early in the morning. It gives me an opportunity to actually talk to my father, which is weird because he gets up at like, he goes to bed. He's one of those guys who um, goes to bed at like nine or eight and gets up at like two, three in the morning on the regular. All right, well, we got 66 cents, a couple spear hearts and heart container from this entire room. And that took about um, forever and a day. You couldn't have just given me that. Alright, well, thank you. Hopefully you got an item in here. Uh, no. I don't think missing pa like this mysterious paper is worth it. Um. Come on, at least give me the shop. Now, if the game had the good grace to give us something like money equals power or any sort of damage upgrade then this would make it so much easier for me to handle <laughs> no god oh i can do that thank you hi priestess oh lovely if we can buy an item then we can double our money basically gets 99 cents so that's pretty good um we didn't miss anything up there so let's just make our way on down Okay. 
Come on. So two of clubs. Let's just pop it now. I don't know why I'm holding onto the fool so hard. Damn it. He got immolated. It's my fault for not actually going for the freaking fire. But yo, these immolated hoppers are so freaking tanky. So we're gonna go to the shop. Buy whatever's in there. We'll get Steam Cell. Hmm. That and get two diamonds. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. I doubt we'll actually get a deal with the devil on this. Aw, oh, come on. Ah, uh, you were so close to hurting yourself. Yes, thank you. I swear that bomb held on for a little longer than normal. Maybe it knows. Maybe it's like, oh, I shouldn't explode just now because it would be too opportune for me to do so. It would actually help the player, and I hate the, and I hate the person who plays anyone and any, anything and anybody who plays this game. Thank you for killing yourself. I'm not surprised that we didn't get a deal with the devil, so let's just go down to the next floor. We've already wasted enough time. Not wasted, we already spent enough of the time that we had on this area. By the time... So, at 11 minutes on the last one, we would have actually been... Probably, like... On the depths by now? Oh god, why did I walk in the fucking spider? Eee! Alright, well, at least we can just blow these guys up. You. Alrighty, well, I have to check this out, because if it's like a Joker card, then it might be worth a while. A card against humanity! <laughs> oh, no thank you, we're not going to do that. Yes, Joker. Oh, crap -ass. Shit farts. That's not really good. Ooh, I would have liked a traditional deal with the devil, just because we have so much freaking HP. But, eh. If you give me Lump of Coal, then I would be fine with that. If you give me Head of Krampus, I don't know. I don't think so. No. Of course you give me Head of Krampus. Frick. Alright, no, we're gonna stay with tarot cards. Um, well, poop. But we need some sort of like DPS upgrade or anything like sack, sack dagger. Like the holy fuck! Why? Silkworms! What the fuck? Why? Why? There's so many! Holy shit. There's so many damn silkworms. Yes, open this up. I don't need all that money, but whatever. Okay. Red ball sack flies. Anything? Well, a bomb. A spirit heart. You know what? That's fine. That's totally okay. Our luck is pretty good. So hopefully we actually will get some sort of a... Uh, some, some good stuff going on here. Oh, burp. Excuse me. Moon. Mm. No, I don't want to have to go through that again. I'm just going to pop this now. The moon. The moon. It's essential. Oh my gosh. Ah! Come on. Yo, our damage is really, really bad. Well, I mean, it's baseline Isaac damage. But still, it's pretty bad. Especially now. 
Hanged man. Yeah. At least I killed one of these guys. Thank you. What is this? The world. Die! Thank you. Oh, I feel another sneeze coming on. One second. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Alright, so where the hell are we going? We're going down. Well, if we're going down, I don't want to actually go through that area. Ooh, but do I want to go to the shop? Let's go to the shop. Thank you. Yeah, the Ragman spiders should be fine. The Red Heart, not so good. Nothing. Alrighty. If it was like small rock, then that would have been sweet. But no, the game doesn't think that I need any damage because apparently 3.5 damage is perfect. Like, nah, you don't need extra. You don't need extra. You're fine. Alright, just keep moving around. And we'll be done with this run in about 20 years. One, because I can't aim. Two, because if I do hit something, it's like I'm throwing pillows or like tiny acorns at them. Come on, there we go. I got the devil. Hangman. Let's go back here. Pick up this battery. Let's see what we get. Chariot. So we got chariot, fool. Let's put chariot, devil. Boomerang? Uh, yeah, we'll pop this now. The we'll pick up the bomb because we can. We'll pick this up. More or less because we can. Joker! Frick yeah! Two diamonds. Two clubs. Judgment. Judgment. Yes. We'll play the hell out of you. As long as you give me something good. You know what? That's fine. That is absolutely what we wanted. Let's see what we got on here. Perthro. Let's buy this. And we'll reroll tarot cards into Humbling Bundle. Perfect. So, what do we want to rock? So, we'll pop this, obviously. Pop two diamonds. Do you want Chariot or Joker? Let's just rock the Chariot. I think our damage is okay right now. Um. But yeah, thank you for actually giving me some damage. This should make this a lot more manageable. And make it so that I don't kill myself before I complete this video. Our tier rate's still pretty shit, though. I mean, it's like... Duh, 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 duh. It's like the small metronome. Alright. Okay, good. Just a good amount of money. We don't need it, but it helps, I guess. It 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 doesn't actually give us the beneficial stat of actually helping us. It just gives it boosts morale, I suppose. All right, it saved us from taking damage against Gertie Junior. Good item. Good item. Mr. Dolly, fuck it, gave us tears and some HP. Stain. Can we get a taste? Alright. Almost done. Thank you, Mr. Dolly. Gave us HP. We won't pick that up just yet. Oh yeah, we got Krampus on this floor. Uh, no, we don't actually want that. I suppose we'll pick up the HP, because we can't really do anything else. 
And yeah, let's go down to the next floor. I'm half tempted to pop the Joker now. Just because I'm curious, I think I will do it. Gammy Conception, not really what I would have wanted. But it's not terrible, I suppose. As long as if we can get in like an arcade, then we can probably get like low brim or something of the sorts. But or maybe like Incubus. That'd be That'd be stellar, right? Ha 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 Incubus, stellar job. Okay. And now it's driving me insane. <laughs> oh, okay. I wish you were here to hear all these jokes. Okay. Uh okay. Hmm. I'm not proud of what I just did, but <laughs> it was so dumb. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah. It's almost 11 a.m. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 we're done. Let's check in here. Get a ruin. Yara, you know what? It's fine. Not what we would have want wanted. Of course it's greed. Why? I'm kind of, like I. As soon as I walk through the door, I kind of figured, like you know what, we're gonna fight greed. This is a greed fight. Okay, like, what? Because why wouldn't it be? Fuck. All right, whatever. Fuck you. It's a shame that steam sales don't actually stack. But whatevs. Hero font. Thank you. We could have doubled it, but eh, I didn't think it was worth our time. That's the problem that I run to a lot with the arrows. Just like I could pop it, but I don't necess like. I keep thinking that oh, I can make this so much more worth by using it on something else. But sometimes you probably just just like you know what, fuck it, pop it right now, do it. It's like a zit. Just gotta get rid of it. There's no prime time to pop a zit. So you might as well just get it over and done with, or you can just wait it out, or just like never pop it at all. There's always that, although you have to walk around with that white, like a white head on your face, and that doesn't look flattering. I remember being in middle school, I had this giant zit on like the side of my nose, it was not flattering whatsoever. But, that's growing up, man. Sometimes you, you gotta, you just gotta go through that painful, awkward stage, and hopefully it fix it, it runs out, you can like, get past that awkward stage, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes this awkward stage, you're like in a permanent stage of awkwardness. Um, as someone who had social anxiety, I can definitely say that's, uh, trying to fit into social situations is just real awkward. That's around. Whoa, buddy. Uh, no bueno. Come on. Alright. I have a bomb. Yo, what the fuck? You like zipped around it. At least you're gonna give me a... A... Uh... Whatever. At least you're giving me like an orbital so I can do damage to mom faster. Thank god this run's only going to mom. If we, went any f if we had to go any further, I would feel... Extremely tired. Granted, this isn't actually too different from a normal run, where we're like 22 minutes on like, boom, on depth, on whatever, the depths too, yeah. Okay, we did the, did the easy way. Why did I walk that way? Whatever, I'm like in a huge rush right now, and I should just slow my roll and chill. Thank you. I got judgment. Judgment. I guess we can play him. We have like, never mind. Double chariots, double yara. Oh hell yeah! Thank you. And this should be it. All right, mom, let's do it.
As long as she crashes her foot down, then we should be completely honky dory. Come on. Well, we didn't get too much value out of our chariot play. I was kind of hoping that she would stomp her foot down. Come on. Thank you. Almost done. And we did it! Bam! There we go. Let's see what we got in our deal with the devil for deal with the devil's sake. Nothing too good. Let's pick this up and bada boom! We have SMB Superfan unlocked. Anyway, that was a long run. It was mostly my fault because we spent like 8 minutes on Basement 2. Anyway, if you like the video, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time! On i2box plays the binding of Isaac. After that. Bye bye.